Back in 1977, the Atari Corporation released the Atari 2600. 1978, Mattel Electronics released the Intellivision. Those two are competitors. The Atari has been released a number of times. Atari Flashback, Atari Flashback 2, which I reviewed, and another Atari handheld game. Intellivision also had sort of a re-release. Technosource USA, the makers of that Sudoku LCD game that I reviewed, like one of my first reviews, made this. The Intellivision TV Play Power thing. Yeah. Feels stunning. And it just this this particular one only has ten Intellivision games. So let's play. Astral Smash. Oh, gotta kill the bomb before it destroys me. Yeah, that white. I think that's a bomb. I don't see with this stuff. Stuff you don't even know. It's kind of like asteroids, except you're only going in a horizontal plane. That's enough of that. Night Stalker. Oh, yeah. Just keep killing him. Oh, I beat him again. This game is actually kind of difficult and boring after a while. Shark Shark. This one's interesting because if you saw, what was it, part five of the review of the Zone 40, part six in total, part five review, you would have made me, I would have mentioned like one of the games was a copy of Shark Shark on the television, which I saw be making a review of some time with the handheld, which I'm doing right now. So, yep, I'm making the review. The goal of the game is to eat all the smaller fish. And that's it. And you can also eat the shark's tail. And after a certain time you do that, the shark dies. Yes, I am not making this up. Look. The hit accuracy is totally off. Now there's no music. Yeah, I killed a shark. Look at that. Snafu, this is my favorite. You just try to trap the enemy. Very rarely I actually had a corrupt game where there's all these bunch of pixels and they actually cause you to die if you actually miss if you actually hit it. Which is very hard to avoid, almost impossible. There's only like one path you can take. And if he takes the path, you're the your opponent, you're dead. Simple as that. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Space Armada. Space Invaders. Skiing. What? I don't know! Wait, how did it get to black and white? How do I start the game? What am I supposed to make it through? The reds or the blues? Oh, both, I think. I don't even know. I'm losing color. You might not even be able to see it with the lighting. Game. This game is stupid. As long as it's stupid sideline action. Except sideline action was fun. There's no way to speed oh, there is a way to speed up. It's boring. What did I just do? Mortal Cross. This is actually a pretty good one, I think. 
kind of the same as skiing. Not well. The control is not the goal. The goal is just to make it to the fastest time on the lap. So since there's only ten, of course I'm gonna be doing them all. I'm almost done already. Okay, I can't make it through there. Baseball. What's next? Football. Just gonna let you guys see. So where am I? What am I doing? I gotta say, it's just bad. In, t in TV, in television. Sorry for all the cars. What? I don't care. Start the game! I think you're- where am I? Oh my god! Hear me pressing buttons. I think the goal is just to make it to the other side. Star Strike. I don't know how to play this. I don't even know. So, that's it. That's all the games on this thing. See? Techno source. I don't know why they chose these ones. Are these supposed to be the classic games? I gotta say, I don't even know. The joypad is weird. Look, yeah, it's just weird. And the shoulder buttons here, they're just A and B buttons again. And X and Y are just turbos. So, I don't know. At least this, the controller is not a disc thing on the like on the original television. So that's it. And this is Joshua A six zero zero saying goodbye. And I suggest you don't play this. Goodbye.